To view the individual scores for assignments and assessments, we will click on the arrow next to the quarter grade. This shows we are looking at our history and geography grade for quarter three. So we're gonna scroll down to the quarter grade section. Notice there are two different categories, formative assignments and summative assessments. These two categories together will calculate our overall grade. Over here to the left, you can see that summative is 80% of the grade and formative is 20% of the grade. To see the individual assignments, you'll click on the plus sign next to that category. So let's look at the formative section. You can see over to the left, it tells us the name of the assignment, when it is due, and you might see a marking like late or missing or incomplete or turned in. Over to the right is where you see how many points this assignment is worth. So this point here tells us that this student scored seven out of nine points possible, equaling a 77%. As you scroll down, you'll see this one was four and a half points out of a total of five. So let's look at the difference between these two. So this one, the total points was worth five points. The total possible points down here on the last assignment was worth 10 points, which means this assignment is worth twice as many points as the one up above that's only worth five. Just know that assignments can have different point values based on the difficulty and complexity of the assignment or assessment and how many standards it is assessing. Notice on this assignment that you see a marking of missing. That means this was not completed by the student. Any missing assignments and assessments will receive an equal distribution grade of 50%. We want to point out here, though, that not all missing assignments will have this missing mark on them. Because grades are brought in from outside programs, Canvas, or hand input by teachers, they don't all receive that automatic missing mark. So the best way is to look at your scores. If you see a score of 50%, most likely it means the student has not completed that assessment or turned in that work. You'll also notice some of the names on the assignments. Most teachers will put a date at the beginning of their assignment name. This way the student knows which day that assignment was given so they can go back to their weekly agenda and see any specific directions or notes to help them quickly find the information for this assignment so they can get it turned in and earn their score. Let's now look at the summative category for their science class. We'll click on that plus drop down arrow and I want to show you here notice on this first assignment there is no score. A blank score can mean one of two things. Either one, the teacher has not graded or entered scores for this assignment or assessment yet, so you'll want to check back. Or two, it means you did not complete this assignment yet. Blank scores do not count against your overall grade. So if you had a bunch of blank scores for work that you have not completed, eventually they will be marked as missing and receive the equal distribution grade of 50% which will then now affect your overall grade. So it's very important for you to make sure that you turn in all of your work and make up all missing assessments. And then the one below, you'll notice we scored 13 out of 20 on it, which is right now why our summative grade is 65%. It's the same as this one test score. Once we have another assessment score in here, it will average these out based on their point values and give us our summative assignment. If you have any questions about your assignments or your final scores, make sure that you speak to your teacher.